Well, good day and welcome back to your base model bench. This episode, we're just gonna concentrate on the upper hull, not worrying about the, uh, the tracks at all. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do once we get back from the break. Okay, so welcome back. As you can see, we're right down straight away at the uh, model bench. Um, I'll just move this away for a second. I'll put this bag over here. To show you on the instructions what we're gonna be doing. So, um, what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be putting the upper hull rear parts on. So just this section here, section 15. Um, but because I'm doing the Russian front, this is the one I'll be doing. So I'll cross this one out. So I don't need to do that one. So that says to me I don't need to do it. And that finger is not, it's meant to be that finger, sorry. So I wasn't, wasn't being rude. Hi Jason. Um, and so we do this one first off. Um, and then we'll put in the rear fenders. So part 16. Cross that one out, and then part 17. So that's probably what we'll be doing first, um, just for this episode. It's just kind of like I said, it's going to be a short one. Um, I did do a a poll on YouTube that nine people have uh, voted on. So if I get to the 10 people, I will maybe 15. So if you want to vote, please get onto the community and my community on uh, YouTube and just see, it's about if you want me to get rid of my start, where I say what's gonna happen first and then go into the music, the tank roll, and then back into the um, this part. So if you, wanna, if you wanna have a vote, it'd be good fun. Well, not good fun, but it'd be good to know what people want. So, um, yeah. So, let's get into this. So I don't have to worry about finding the beast brew, because it's already here. I'll just zoom in so you can see what I'm about to do. I'll take it back this way and this way. There we go. So, oh, just just quickly, I just watched uh, Jeff's new episode, Jeff Donahue. Got a really nice hat from Papa Dan. Um, but he also got the um, Arizona. So I'll be waiting to start that when he starts. Because I think it would be a bit of fun but with two people doing the same build. So um, looking forward to it, Jeff. And I'll do a little um, episode on the um, wooden deck I've got for it. I haven't shown anyone that. So I have to get out parts B18 and 17. So get 18 first. That's what's got first up on the the instructions. I'll just cut that off, give it a bit of a, bit of a, bit of a sand. That came off really quite easy, so I'm glad I didn't use the bigger one, or the coarser one. Uh, Sunday this week for um, Aussie Models Live. Please watch. I will be making a public apology to a couple of people. So I was a little bit pissy <laughs> the, night, the other night. So I made a bit of a fool, but I'll make a public apology if I remember. Um, yeah, so I hope I didn't upset anyone. Uh, so, <laughs> oh dear. So this goes that way. All right. So we can see on this, we have some location pins. That goes that way. Let me just get my other, I'll get my big eyes. Oh, for those who knew, I got myself a new TV the other day. It is massive. Unfortunately, I watched, um, <laughs> unfortunately, I watched Jason, his episode last night on it, which was Wednesday night. I had nightmares, couldn't sleep. <laughs> Just joking, mate. Um, yeah, so 
This goes into here, so just use a bit of extra thin. Um, I'll just do this bit and then we'll take a break from the video and then I'll come back. Or I'll just speed it up. Like that. And then just a little bit on the inside. On the seam. There we go. Have a look at that. Um, that's fit quite nicely, actually. So, um, much of a seam at all, so I'm quite happy with that. So anyway, like I said, I will, um, I'll just speed this up. So, uh, here we go. Okay, so there we go, both sides done. Um, you can see both sides fits really well. Had a bit of trouble with that last one. But I now have to get B18, oh, it's got B18, sorry, F21. That's the difference between our build and the other boys' build. And, um, Mr. Steen's build, because he's doing the Africa core as well, is I do F21 and they all do B1. Sorry, Jim, I couldn't think of Jim's name. Um, it was in my head, just couldn't think of it. Sorry, Jim. So we get this one, F21. Let's have a look at the difference, actually. So F21, I'll just uh, write that on the back, just in case I get them confused. I don't think there's going to be much difference between them, but we'll see. It's almost time for dinner. It's been an absolutely wintry day here in Perth today. Um, been raining. It's still raining now. Not cold, it's still about 20 degrees Celsius. So, so I'll just, just put a little tip on the back of this one, because that's the one we want. So, this is the one we don't want. Oops. All right, so that's the one we don't want. This is the one we do want. So all I can see in the difference is the one we don't want has got more raised um, detail. And the one we do want has got, just on these little bits, you can't see it. But, uh, just here, there's two little uh, lines, one's raised, the other one's not. So we don't want to use the raised one, so I'll put that in there. <laughs> okay, so let me just put this on and we'll be back. Alright, so there we go. Back part's done. So the bits I want to do right now are done. So um, I'll stop this video, go put this all up onto the computer and um, we'll be back a little bit later when we do that part's done. So I'll just cross that out first. When we do part 16, which is attaching the, um, the rear fender. I'm going to do a couple of holes. So, um, yeah, I'll talk to you then. All right, so welcome back. Just um, going to start on the rear fenders here. So, this is part B11. So, if you look up, 
just in here, I'm not sure if you can see it, but just there and just here, we've got a few holes, so just drill through those with a 0.8 of a millimetre uh, drill bit. They're quite small. Be careful when you use these little pin vices. Um, I've done it where I've uh, drilled into my hand. And these little uh, drill bits are quite sharp. So it's probably best not to do that. But if you can avoid it, avoid it. That doesn't need much of a clean up at all on the uh, actual part. This was what B. This is B11. So we'll just do B11. There's a few bits that need to go on this actually. I'll just put an 11 underneath. Now this also needs an E2. B31 and an F20. So I can get the, um, the B31 now, which is this part here. Seriously, I really wish I took up this hobby a long time ago. Not that I've got a lot of place to store things. There you go. That's that bit done. Now we just have to find E2, which is on one of these sprues. This is the E sprue, which were the track sprues. What have we got here? E2. Quite a small little bit. <laughs> Try not to uh, lose it. Just lop that bit off there. Put that there. Put this just there for a minute. Put this over here. Yeah, just put this away. has happened. Hopefully all in the right spot. Is there anything wrong with these? Is the bits can fall out everywhere. Right, so this bit looks like it goes Once I've done this bit, I'm going to bed, so. Mm. 
there and there. That's how I think it goes anyway. It's the only way I can see it going. So please just remember if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. Um, the more thumbs up you get, the more it goes out to the into the ether so other people can see it. Um, you might not like it, <clears throat> but you might find someone else really, really enjoys it. Um, so yeah, give it, a, give it a thought at least to uh, send it out there. <clears throat> Excuse me, a little bit of a frog in the throat. Now this bit is F20. Which is this part here. There's a bit of a clean up to go on here. Polish. There we go. So this bit goes into holes I just drilled. Oops, this side. <laughs> Tricky thing. There and there. Just drop a glue. Another drop of glue. Drop of glue on. There we go. All right, so. That's a rear fender done. So the next one I'm not going to bother putting on. I'll, I'll put on, but I'm not going to uh, video. Um, that would just be pointless because you've already seen it, so that's it. <laughs> there you go. So you've got the side bit, you've got the little bracket bit there, and you've got the what could be a walkway. Um, so that's that done. So tomorrow, or maybe even tonight I'll finish off, or actually tonight I'll finish off the other side. Um, I won't subject it to it. So we'll, um, actually no, I'll do that tomorrow. Can't be bothered now. So anyway, I'll um, come back tomorrow. After work, we'll do some more of the rear fenders. Um, and a bit more of this and this. And then we'll go into part 19 and part 20. Then Saturday we'll go into 21 and 22, maybe 23. It's getting close to end actually. It's quite sad. That's well, quite a long way to go really, but we've still got to paint the men. Finish the tracks. <laughs> so anyway, I'll um, come back tomorrow and we'll get this uh, continue. So have a great night, night people. Well, welcome back. It's been a hell of a two days on this model bench. Um, these tracks almost made me throw the thing away. I seriously was considering just giving up. It was just shit. So last night I got home from work did a little bit of uh, this, so it's coming down the model bench. I'll show you easier here. I uh, just put the front um, thingies on. Uh, benders. <laughs> um, I've realized a bit too late that I um, should have put these on a bit later because I have to paint the stuff in here. I should be able to still do that. 
But here are the tracks. I've got one that looks pretty bloody decent. So this one here looks really good. Um, done properly. This one here is an absolute shit fight. Things were breaking off left, right, and centre. Um, so I've ended up having to use a lot of icky sticky. Yes, I know, Mark. Using super glue to uh, put plastic parts together is a sin. But that's all I could do. And I'm really quite pissed off with them, to be 100% honest. But it is what it is, eh? So these are all stuck on now. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, this side's all stuck on now. So I'm just going to have to do a bit of liquid mask over the road wheels just so I don't get any um, of the other colour I need to put on this, which will be the um, German grey. And same with this side. And I need to do a bit of iron up under the tracks up there. So, then, <laughs> just a story of woe. Um, I've realised I'd need the little hooks that I didn't put on because they uh, put on the wrong way to get this to sit properly. Um, so, well, it sits fairly decently. Um, I'm just gonna put a lackey band probably around it just to hold it in place. And then this little bit here goes in there somehow like that. Um, there we go, that's the, <laughs> the start. I've decided that Mark or Jason can win this, uh, Mark or Jason, Peter or Jason can win this um, build. I'll bring the Spitfire that I reckon Jace will make us do. Um, so I'm pretty good at aircraft. Well, that fits really quite well. But yeah, I'm not happy with this at all. Um, so we'll go on to a bit more building in a minute. I'm going over to my mother's tonight because my auntie's just moved back to Perth. Yay, my auntie Janine. Um, so I'm making a pork belly. <coughs> um, just gonna be a normal pork belly, maybe some roast veggies. Then I'll come home and um, probably lay on the couch, watch my big TV. Huge! And then um, tomorrow I wake up and in between cleaning and other stuff, I'll get back into this model. So here we go, we'll get into the build again. Okay, so here we are back, just looking at part 18. Um, well, I have to attach C42, look, which looks like some sort of winding implement for um, starting the tank. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, C9, which is a spade, and C18 and 19, which is just another thing that goes on the, uh, the bulkhead of the um, right-hand side of the tank. So here I'm just cleaning up these bits. Also with these, I have to paint um, C42 which is the winch thing um, I can't think of the name of the paint but it's a metal colour <laughs> so I've just got no idea and the spade I have to do an earth colour for the handle or the shaft and the same metal colour for the um, the actual spade part of the spade so yeah, it, it's, I'm still pissed off with these tracks, eh? I mean, that, that side looks all right, but it's pretty crappy. But next tank will be better. I'll take a bit more time with it. Thought it was gonna be easy, but it wasn't. So I did do another recording, um, but I decided not to have it. So anyway, we'll be back when I do the next part. All right, so here we are back. I'm um, just doing part 19, which is cutting out um, engine access hatches and a few other bits and pieces, such as lights. Um, there's another thing, I have no idea what it is. Uh, <laughs> I've got to put a sticker on that one. 
that's part F14. There are, um, like I said, the vents, not access hatches. It looks like an air vent, a crowbar, and there's a tiny, tiny little um, grab handle. So, yeah, it's going to be fun painting all these. I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, I've got two plastic container lids there, one with L and one with R, not for Reginald and, and Leo, it's for left and right, just in case Jason got confused, um, which he would. But yeah, so as you can see, it's all pretty much done what we need to do. I might give these a bit of a, a bit of a prime before I go over to my mum's tonight. So yeah, um, I'll see you all again soon. Alright, so welcome back. Uh, we're looking straight down at the model bench. Um, just going to put a few little bits together. So as you can see on this, I don't know if you can actually, but in this little U-shape, you probably can't. There's a little U-shape there, there's a little location marker. And on the back of this light, there's a um, little location pin. So, I'm just going to put a few of these bits together. Um, so we'll speed it up. So I don't want a massively long video today. So yeah, we'll do this, we'll prime them all. And um, yeah, we'll see what we have to do then. So let's get going. Uh, just so before we go on, uh, these uh, access things, I was watching Jason, he was having a fair bit of trouble, he was trying to put them up this way. And I was actually yelling at the TV, so Jason, turn it around, turn it around. <laughs> so yeah, all right, let's get back to it. Okay, so here we are, just doing the, um, uh, the engine access hatches. So just connecting, um, F52 onto F51 and F54 onto F53. Poor Jace, he just cops an absolute pizzling on these videos. But he's one of the nicest blokes you'll ever get to meet. He's got a heart the size of Texas, or a heart the size of Western Australia, which is probably bigger than Texas. Yeah, he's just a really, really good bloke and I'm, I'm very happy to call him my mate. You'll probably hear this and cry. See, thumbs up, because I dry fitted properly and it looked really good. So yeah, got a thumbs up for that. Um, so please give a thumbs up on this video for that one too, if you made it this far that is. Um, yeah, just a little bit more. There we go, another thumbs up. So it's two thumbs up, so two people need to give me thumbs up now. And now just adding the lights on to the front, and yes, another thumbs up. Uh, things you do when you're sober, right? Eh? <laughs> Yeah, so there I was just having a bit of a yarn about something, putting a few other bits and pieces on now. Um, so yeah, another thumbs up. Jeez, things go well now I've got the tracks done. <laughs> so, oh, another thumbs up. And just ticking everything off. So everything's tickety-boo or tickety-boo. I'm ticking. Yep, not a very smart man sometimes, but hey, we're all here for a good time, not a long time. So anyway, um, yeah, so we'll see you in the next uh, next video. Well, that's it for this video. Um, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Um, give it a give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and leave comments. I answer every single comment that gets uh, left. Um, go give Jason at Aussie Scale Modeler and Peter at Oscar Modeling a look. Also go check out a good, a good bloke, a, a person I'm considering up to be a, become a very good friend, never met him, lives over in the States at Hillbilly Military Models. Um, go give him a look, he's doing a um, Mustang at the moment and it is shit hot. So yeah, um, I'll leave a description, I'll leave a link in the description for all those, for those three blokes. And as usual, go visit Jeff and Nigel and everyone else. I mean, there's too many to name. Everyone who watches this are absolute bloody legends and everyone I 
subscribe to uh, Absolute Bloody Legends. So, see you all a bit later on.